guys in this video we will prove this identity sine of theta over 1 minus cosine of theta minus 1 over sine of theta equivalent to 1 over the tangent of theta we have two different ways to do that either we can start by taking this first one you know expanding this first one or you know simplify this one to get to that result or we can take 1 over 10 of theta and expand it to get this result but the easiest way is to go from this one here to the other one that's what we're going to do right now to do that we will first cross multiply as you can see the, uh, the uh, orange arrow right there sine of theta times sine of theta so this is going to give us here sine to the power of 2 of theta okay and minus uh, 1 times 1 will give us 1 and uh, minus 1 of course because we have a minus in front and minus cosine of theta times minus 1 will give us plus cosine of theta plus cosine of theta and the whole thing divided by 1 minus cosine of theta times the sine of theta we also know that the cosine of theta cosine to the power 2 of theta plus the sine to the power 2 of theta equals to 1 therefore we can say that the sine to the power 2 of theta equals to 1 minus the cosine to the power 2 of theta and this sign to the power 2 of theta, we will take it right in here. So this is going to give us here, we having 1 minus cosine to the power 2 of theta minus 1 plus cosine to the power, cosine of theta over 1 minus cosine of theta times the sine of theta. And we can see that the 1 and minus 1 are canceling out here and we still have cosine to the power 2 of theta minus cosine to the power 2 of theta uh, plus cosine of theta so we can simplify it here by you know factoring the cosine so this is going to give us here the cosine of theta times when we take one here, it's going to be one minus cosine of theta over one minus cosine of theta times the sine of theta, and we can see that the cosine one minus cosine of theta are canceling out, and we still have the cosine of theta over the sine of theta and this is here exactly a cotan of theta cotan of theta which is also equal to 1 over the tan of theta and of course you can see that this expression here is exactly equivalent to that other one so we're going to say that we're just going to kind of you know underline this one here therefore we want to solve this equation sine of theta uh, over 1 minus cosine of theta uh, minus 1 over sine of theta equals to 4 tan of theta for theta in between 0 degree and 180 so what we're going to do here we're not going to take um, this whole expression again because we've already seen that this whole expression is equivalent to 1 over 10 of theta so we're going to just take this one here so this is going to give us here 1 over the 10 of theta equals to 4 10 of theta and here if we cross multiply here assuming that we're having 1 here under this is going to give us um, cross multiplying this is going to be a 1 equals to 4 times times 10 to the power 2 of theta of course we can divide by 4 on both sides of the equity so this is going to give us here 1 fourth 
equals to 10 of 10 to the power 2 of theta and also we can square root it and this is going to give us here plus minus 1 half equals to 10 of theta and then we're looking for the angle so this means here that theta will be equals to 10 minus 1 of minus 1 half or theta will be equal to the 10 minus 1 of 1 half so the first one here will give us uh, theta equals to minus 26 uh, point five six degree and because we are I mean our theta needs to be between 0 and 180 we're gonna add 180 on it degree and this is gonna give us 153.43 degree and this is our first angle first theta And for the second one, we're going to have theta equals to 26.56 degree. And that's our second angle. Now we can say the solution to our equations are theta equals to 26.56 degree and theta equals to 153 point four three degrees and that's how you can you know prove identity and solve equation by the way thank you for watching again until next time bye bye